Problem 8.14 civil. No. Problem 8.14 in numerical methods. This is a civil and environmental engineering problem. And it says in structural engineering, the secant formula defines the force per unit area. P over A that causes a maximum stress sigma of M and a column of a given slenderness ratio L of K which states P of A is equal to sigma of M all divided by 1 plus EC divided by K to the second times the secant of 0.5 times the square root of P divided by E times A times L times K where EC divided by A squared is equal to the eccentricity ratio and E equals the modulus of elasticity if for a steel beam E equals 200,000 MPA EC over K squared equals 0.4 the sigma M equals 250 MPA compute P of A for L of K is equal to 50 Recall the sequent method is equal to x equals 1 or cosine of x. So here we have our values given to us by the problem. And here is our range of P over A from 0 to 300 because in the problem they give us sigma is equal to 2 fifths, so we're going to want to stay in that range of 0 and uh, 250 because we're trying to find the zero of the problem. We want to stay around 250. And in the scheme of things for this problem, when we put the problem set at 0, our solution should be approximately 250 because the equation is basically 250 divided by one point something. So we we got to reformat the problem right here because we have p over e to the a. So we simply just make that p over a p over a times one over e. So we get the same result as P over E to the A. And then we subtract our P of A from the other side of the problem so that we can solve for the zero of this equation and get the correct answer that we're looking for or what P of A is while L of K is equal to 50. So for this problem, it's a simple root finding problem. We use the modified secant method since we're dealing with a sequent equation and simply use a, a good guess would be 250 as I said because we're basically doing 250 over 1 is the equation when you simplify it. And so here we have our secant modified secant method right here going for 40 iterations so that should bring us to zero for the problem and then we plot up our P of A or our estimate estimate of zero of this problem so let's plot it up and so here is our equation that was given to us by the problem we're, go we're going down as we move further away from zero and just as expected we cross zero at 250 or approximately 250 we should be a couple points off and we can check our solution here so see P of A equated out to be 250.4032 and when we put it into the equation, P A 
is equal to zero, just as uh, we expected. And so the solution would be 250.4032 for our P over A. And that is it for problem 8.14 in numerical methods.